Right now, the radar much quieter than it was at this time yesterday. Matter of fact, you got to travel down along the overseas highway here between Marathon, Isla Mirada, and Layton to pick up a few showers. And that's the old frontal boundary sitting over the straits that today will start to lift back to the north. Once that happens, our winds are going to come east today, south tomorrow, and that's going to start a warming trend. So while we're cool and near our averages this morning, we are dry. Yesterday, we managed to pick up a little over an inch in Fort Myers. That helps tremendously. And down in Naples, 0.35, the record on that date, just a little under an inch back in 1980. And you look at the totals now, year to date, we're still about a half inch behind for both Naples and Fort Myers. We were getting to the point where we needed some rainfall. So we got another chance coming up on Thursday morning, but ahead or behind this first cold front, we are sitting in the low 50s from the Peace River North, mid 50s along the Caloosahatchee, then 60 down in southern Collier County. But everyone's seeing that 10 to 15 degree drop as the winds are northeast. They'll turn more out of the east today, and it will be a little breezy at times. You see that wind 10 to 15 miles per hour in the gust are going to be closer to 20. So overall today, it's going to be more clouds and sunshine, but up to 80 will be above our average of 75 with your sunset time coming up at 604. A record on this date, 85 going back to 1990. The cool weather still uh, moving across the eastern half of the U.S. behind that front as ridge of high pressure brings uh, the cooler weather ahead of it. And as far as the uh, next storm system, well, right now dropping snow in the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas, and eventually that line of showers will arrive here. Let me show you the timeline for this afternoon. You see that front lifting to the north, taking the cloud cover with it. So for your Wednesday, we'll see more sunshine, and it's easy to see that frontal boundary. As it starts to slide down the state, it will bring some rain overnight into Thursday. Hopefully, most of the heavy stuff will get out of here for the morning commute. And then Thursday evening, you see that wind coming in out of the northwest, bringing us a cooler air. As far as the mid parts of the week, warm. But here comes the dip in the jet stream over the weekend here for Friday and Saturday. What it looks like in the seven-day forecast, well, it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride. We go up, up to here the next couple of days. We see the rain early on Thursday morning, and then the cooler air arrives. Now, I have warmed the temperatures up just a bit there out to start the weekend. Some locations will spend at least two nights there in the upper 40s as we get a nice little cool change to wrap up the work week.